If you operate multiple domains, you might be wondering how best to set these up in Google Workspace to save time and money. And you may have heard that you should be using either secondary domains or alias domains, but have no idea what they are or which one is right for you. Today, I'm going to break them down so you can make a fully informed decision for your small business. Hi, this is Priya from That Online Stuff and I help small business owners with usable and practical advice for their Google Workspace setup. So let's start with, what is an alias domain? An alias domain is an additional domain that acts as a forwarding address for your primary domain. Instead of separate accounts, it provides alternative email addresses for your existing users. Emails sent to an alias domain address will go to the user's primary domain inbox. Essentially, an alias domain provides more ways for people to reach you without you needing to manage multiple inboxes. When you add an alternate email address to a user in your primary domain, Google Workspace automatically creates an email address at the uh, alias domain as well. For example, if your primary domain is mycompany.com, but you've also got the domains mycompany.net and mycompany.com.au, you can add these additional domains as an alias, and so you can receive emails that are sent to priya at mycompany.com, as well as priya at mycompany.net or priya at mycompany.com.au. So that's alias domains in a nutshell. What then are secondary domains and why might you use them? Secondary domains function independently within Google Workspace. Each can have its own users, email addresses and accounts. For example, maybe you run a small software company under the domain name mycompany.com.au with about four employees. This is your primary domain and each employee has their own email address, Google Calendar and Google Drive account. Then you set up a small company selling gym equipment online with the domain name thatcompany.com.au. This is your secondary domain in Google Workspace and the two employees that work for that company have completely separate email addresses, Google calendars and Google Drive accounts. However, all security settings etc. are managed through just the one Google Workspace installation. This is excellent for maintaining separate identities and teams. Or you might be looking to transfer from one domain to another, for example from mycompany.net.au to mycompany.net. In this case, you'd add mycompany.net as the secondary domain and then switch it to be your primary domain. Let's compare secondary and alias domains side by side. Firstly, email addresses. In a secondary domain, you have distinct and separate inboxes for each domain. In an alias domain, one user will have multiple addresses that all go to the same inbox. In user management, in a secondary domain, separate sets of users can be created for each domain. They each have separate logins and potentially separate Google Drive storage. In an alias domain, all users are under the primary domain and aliases are added to existing user accounts within your primary domain. Cost is a big difference between secondary and alias domains. If you set up a secondary domain, each user under that domain will need a new user license at a comparative cost. Alias domains have no extra per user costs. You can add up to 20 alias domains. There are some limitations to the, either of these options. With secondary domains, you can't set completely different policies at the domain level. Some things will be the same. You can only have one organization logo and you can't merge separate Google Workspace accounts. In alias domains, some of the limitations include the user's primary email address might be visible in some email clients. Calendar invitations will always only go to the primary email address inbox. There's a limit of 20 alias domains and 
overall email sending limits will apply. So let's recap. When would you use an alias domain? You'd use this if you've got businesses with multiple domains but centralised email management. Or if you're a solopreneur with multiple domains but just the one person running them all and want to run all your emails through the one inbox. You'd use a secondary domain if you've got completely different brand names. For example, a coffee shop and an event planning service. Or if you're planning to switch domain names for your company. Here's a quick overview on how to add an alias domain. Go to admin.google.com, then account, domains and manage domains. Click on add a domain and type in the domain name. Select user alias domain. Verify the domain ownership, usually via a text record in your domain registrar. And then make sure you activate Gmail, again by adding an MX record in your domain registrar. Google Workspace automatically creates alias email addresses for all primary domain users and they'll start receiving emails at once. In order to send an email from the alias domain, users will need to add the account in their Gmail settings. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was of assistance to you and remember subscribe and hit the notification bell to get more Google Workspace information specifically designed for small business owners.